gets, just losing out to, on the silver, taking bronze courtesy of uh, his slightly heavier body weight, Tomati Rossia. So that's how things are standing after the first phase of the competition. We go into this second phase, clean and jerk. And Kyla, what's your gut feeling here? Um, I'm going to put my money on Karapetian, the young Armenian, 19 years of age. He's coming in at 190, clean and jerk. I think with that 164, he has an opportunity to take victory over his teammate Martirosian, who's posted 200, equal to his best. I think he's bluffing here. I think Martirosian may bring his starting weight down. If not, if Martirosian does come out at 200, I think we could potentially see uh, an ambush on the European record. Don't forget, though, Beiramov of Azerbaijan, 192 from the B group. Away we go then with the clean and jerk phase of this men's 77 kilo competition here at this European Championships. And we start with a home athlete, Georgi Blomtadze. Comes out here in Tbilisi after a, a little bit of a disappointing effort in the snatch. And he's got to move it here. Goes into the red. He saw the, the clock, clock before he came onto the platform. He knows how long he has. There's a clock in front of him as well. And away he goes with this first lift at 177. No, that was made to look very heavy. Well, you've got to question why he was so late coming onto the platform. They just had a 10 minute break. The coach knows exactly how long before he's on. The first lifter onto the platform is the easiest athlete to time in terms of preparing the warm up. I wouldn't, uh, as a lifter, I always took responsibility for my own performances. But there are times when the coaches do get it wrong, and I think that was one of them. He was under pressure, but as an experienced athlete, he should have been able to keep his composure. He's coming into this competition with a slight knock in confidence uh, as well, having bombed at the World Championships last year. So he's keen to put in a good performance, but you can see the jerk position, hips behind the bar, just threw it forwards. My coaching point for that is Superman. If I call someone Superman, I don't mean it literally. <laughs> I mean they're driving the bar out in front, leaving the body behind. And that's just not going to work. Well, the coach is saying, come on, what's going on? <laughs> and I think if I were him, I'd say, you screwed up. Yeah, it's a, it's a toughie there. And he's going to be back on if no one else is coming in at 177. Well, it's hot here in Georgia. Uh, the conditions are very, very warm. Uh, and you see a lot of the athletes struggling to catch their breath. Two minutes is not very long when you're on these kind of weights, when you're pushing close to your best. Two minutes is not very long to recover. And he did the clean, he did all the hard work. Home crowd on side here in Tbilisi, just trying to get uh, Lontadzi fired up for this one. And a little more composure as he comes back to the stage this time around. thing they want is for an early exit here they they need him to post a total what's the 30 second buzzer no it's me gone again well, consternation from the fans, disbelief from Lamtazi. Well, one attempt remaining, competing in front of your home crowd. He's under pressure. Well, it's never nice to see a lifter exit the competition in this manner. But he did it at the World Championships. That must be playing on his mind right now. A sign of a true champion. Can they pull it out when it matters? Let's have a look. See what happened position-wise. A clean, very solid, no problems. The jerk dropped his chest a little as he dipped, but just never quite overhead. What a shame. And that's twice now he's taken a lot out of his legs. Very limited time to recover. But these athletes should be training for this as well. I know I certainly did, leading into a big competition. I would ask uh, one of my teammates to mess around with my timings and rather than just going through the training process as I would normally like to, they would say, no, hang on, you've got five minutes before you can take the next attempt. 
and sometimes they might give me a, a 30 second warning and say clock's counting and I may have only just put the bar down so it's trying to reproduce the situations that might happen in competition and you would expect lifters of this caliber to be prepared and be able to cope with those kind of demands I do it all the time to the kids in the gym <laughs> I might say to them come on 10 <laughs> seconds and they need to lift the bar before the clock Always gets popular. to zero yeah it's, it's tough I guess watching at home you're thinking well there's a limited uh, amount of work that he's doing here but that's a huge demand on the body to try and make those two lifts and with very very restricted recovery time between muscles will not be feeling particularly good here and the weight belt has gone on well, he's looked at the clock he knows how long he has just going to use as much of this time as possible to recover you can still see that he's breathing fairly heavily the most nervous out of everybody here he needs this lift to stay in the competition we've gone up by one kilo the increase in one kilo would have brought him a little bit of time needs to drive to arm's length no Lam Tati bombs out of the world and goes out of the Europeans in a very similar circumstance and that's total frustration in front of the home crowd here so we say goodbye to uh, Georgi Lontadze. Beramov of Azerbaijan sees off one of our seven A group competitors in the clean and jerk. Well, he was never really there, Lontadze, and unfortunately he's out of this competition. So six lifters left at the clean and jerk phase and the competition overall, and that is gutting. It is. It was up to arm's length as well, just a bit too soft in the shoulders and the elbow lock to steady himself. Next out then, Krzysztof Szramiak of Poland. 180 for him as uh, his opener. Szramiak managing 150. His only successful lift in the uh, snatch competition. And again, that plays on your mind if you're coming onto the stage with only one decent lift behind you. Got to be right on his game here. <laughs> on the 30 oh. second pass, very smooth. Well, for a first hard. attempt, that was tough. You've got to assume the jerk is good, which it is. He's clearly stronger in the overhead position. But that clean was a real effort. 180 first attempt has a personal best of 192. I will be very surprised if he gets anywhere close to best today. That looked very tough for an opening attempt. So combine that with his uh, 150. And, uh, still doesn't put him into the lead against the B group competitors. And, uh, from the B group, Bayramov winning the clean and jerk with 192. So that's the kind of weights we're going to have to go up to to see the B group competitor knocked out of contention again. Dumitru Kaptari, Moldova, comes in also at 180. Well, oh, tremendous leg strength. You see their power jerk, well, power almost a squat jerk. We've got very, very long levers, very long arms, very long legs. That's a long way for the bar to go. Not only that, he's executing it with quite a narrow grip, which makes the shoulder flexibility in the jerk position even more impressive. See how straight his body is underneath the bar. One of the best power stroke squat jerks I've seen. So, Dimitru Kaptari of Moldova in this A group, successful at uh, 180. That puts him onto a combined total of 332, which means that he's still behind Beramov and uh, Likharad, who lifted earlier in the B group, who got to 133 and 136, respectively. Now, we'll see what this man's uh, technique is like. You were questioning a few elements in the snatch phase. More for safety than anything, just the back position, very rounded in the back as he comes off the floor. I encourage any athlete that's uh, starting out in this sport or is already having a go, maybe through CrossFit, to make sure that that back position is a strong position, particularly if you're 
doing CrossFit in multiple repetitions, that's when the technique can break down. Then you're predisposing yourself to injuries. 184 then, his entry weight. We'll see how that back looks on this pull face. So strong in the legs, stands up with ease. Ooh, I don't know. That's mighty well, was, close again. Was there movement in his left elbow? It looked to me that he caught it on a bent arm, and by the time he'd recovered, it was straight. What's the decision going to be? Well, the reaction the tells the story, yes. Not happy. Two red lights means it's not a clean lift. And, uh, I think the, uh, the committee getting it absolutely right here. I mean, had he held it on a bent arm, he would have been okay. But because by the time the lift had finished, there was... Let's watch his left elbow, our right, bent. And by the time he's recovered, it's now straight. So there's clearly a press out as he recovered. At that point, as, a, as an athlete, you smile, you, you say, yeah, come on, I've got it, to try and convince the referees. I'm not sure Otherwise, he ever did he did that at all, did he? He knew <laughs> he'd done disappointed it. disappointed straight away. But what are you saying... Mikala is if he'd left his elbow in that position, he could have got away with it. Yep, had his elbow remained slightly flexed, uh, he, he would have got away with it. So, Shramiak next out. Looks like he's going to come out at uh, 184 for his second lift. He would have been coming out next, but because we've just seen a, a failed lift, I think we're going to see uh, Rosu coming out again. So he'll be following himself. That means the rest of the athletes just need to sit tight. That means they've got another minute or two extra on top of what they anticipated. You don't usually anticipate a, a fellow lifter to miss their first attempt. You usually think they, or assume that they're going to get it. But as an athlete, as a coach, you need to respond to the changing situations all the time. Um, that scoreboard that we just saw, that where this gentleman's just been to, was the where the athlete, sorry, where the coaches change the weights for the athletes. Well, Rosu has the option to up his weight, which means that Shramiak will come back out again, and that gives Rosu a bit more time to recover, which in the circumstances is uh, probably sensible. And he has to go up by a kilo. So Shramiak out of 184, but that's messing with him a little bit. So this is where, again, you have to be mentally quite tough to deal with these situations. Go back into your own process, forget about everything else. 180 to 184, four kilo increase then for Shramik. Kaptari, incidentally, after that 180, has posted 190 for his second round. No. Ooh. Well, you said he was weak through or weaker through that phase and good overhead, and unfortunately it's caught up with him. Well, based on his first attempt, uh, I question whether or not we'd see much more. I just don't think he's got the leg strength today. Quick under, didn't really commit to driving out. He needs to go back to the squats, get those legs a, a little stronger for the next competition. Seems to be where he's uh, weakest at. We know a couple of lifters that are taking their time need to revisit this weight. Still waiting for the other names to uh, come in. Well, still on 184. Okay, yeah, it should, yeah. The, we thought it was going to be, uh, he was following himself. But it's uh, first attempts, then second attempts. So Shmariak was 184 also. But because he'd had a bigger gap between his first and his second compared to a 184 followed by a 184, that's the reason Shmariak came out. Bit of pressure then on there. Rosu. What's his other elbow this time? <laughs> oh dear. Waits and waits and waits and finally here, gets it. At last he can smile. Yes, it took us a little bit of time to work out. It took the officials time to work out as well. And not all of the officials happy with that one. No, I wasn't happy with that. I thought his right elbow moved this time. Gone from one side to the other. Clean was OK. Yes. Not fortunately for Rosu. Carla Breeze's finger nowhere near a light that she can switch <laughs> on to red. I'd be a tough referee. I could never be a referee, <laughs> though, because as soon as there's an injury, I turn away and I look away. As a referee, you have to keep your eyes on the lifter the whole time. I couldn't do that job. It's a toughie. It's a tough call, but uh, with the luxury of replays, we can see everything. Shramiak then back out at 184. Successful at 180. 
But a miss in his second lift of 184. So this is final lift of the competition. Cool. That's a better effort to start things off. Better than his first attempt. Oh, go on. Needs to keep pushing. Hanging on got for it. those buzzers for a long, long time. And he finally posts that 184 for a combined total of 3-3-0. Well, some really gutsy lifting. Fair play. That was a good effort. I'm not sure I'm seeing a red light there. Nothing wrong with the clean. Hard to see from this angle. Really need to see the uh, elbows. That was shoulder movement, not elbows. I would have given him that. Slowly developing in this clean and jerk phase of the men's 77 kilo category here at these European Championships in Tbilisi. At the moment, Alexandru Rossu leads for Romania with a successful second round lift at 184. We're waiting for Kaptari to come back into things and this is an interesting move from Victor Getz. Gonna get something on the board here. Looking at the bigger picture. 185 and Getz smoothly into position. Well, this is a lifter that's impressing me more and more, lift by lift. Very quiet, very calm, very focused and very confident. Technically superb knows exactly where he's going and he hasn't missed one yet hasn't missed one don't tempt fate now <laughs> oh. <laughs> just taking a small adjustment off the shoulders to get it off his windpipe and super dynamic overhead and i'll tell you what this this young man has spent many many months and years working on the basic weights working on the basic positions so by the time he goes through the junior through the senior ranks he's already a well-conditioned very technically competent lifter and that's i think what we need to be doing here in Great Britain. Still in the under 23 ranks gets at 21 years of age. Now then, Marty Rossian, this is uh, interesting for him and he's way down on his 200, so he was just messing with them. 185 for Tigran then, the former European champion. Oh, this is big in terms of his day. This is a huge lift. Got to get this right. Ooh, very quick under the bar. The bar actually hit him hard at the bottom. Still managed to stand. Power jerk. Slightly forwards. If he's going to do any more, he may need to sit deeper. He's going to need to be a lot straighter than that. But he's on the board. 185. The 200 that he posted was a bluff. Brought it down to 185. He's in the competition. And I'll tell you what, there's still a lot of lifters left in. And remember, we've still got a 192 posted from the B group. Bayramov of Azerbaijan is sat in the auditorium now, watching and waiting. Well, Likharad of the B group, his overall total of 3.36, surpassed there by Marty Rossian at 3.45. But more importantly for Marty Rossian, he's got two more lifts to play with, and that was key. He's got two more moves that he can make. And now it all comes down to how much pressure this young man can put on. Now, this is more his territory. So Karapetian coming out at 1.86. And just, again, trying to turn the screw. But this is where this competition is going to get very, very interesting. Kaptari still hasn't come back out again. He's looked really tidy today, actually, Kaptari. He's saying 190 for his next entrance to the co entry to the competition. And then just, again, pointing to the elbows. Just telling the referees, remember, my elbow lock's not good. Leg strength's good, though. No, not this time for the 19-year-old and Marty Rossian and Getz just wrestle a little bit of uh, that momentum back from the youngster. Well, part of the problem with having a poor elbow lock is when you're overhead, you're almost, well, you are holding it on bent arms, so you've got to be pushing all the time to stop that bar coming back down. But in this position, I just don't think he was really underneath the bar fully. Hips were slightly behind. Clean was very strong. He's got a lot more there. Didn't split wide enough. Just needed to go a couple of inches further forwards with that front foot. He may have had a chance. So Marty Rossian at the moment in pole position. Remember, between he and Getz, he's got uh, the lighter body weight. It's Getz, pacing around in the back room. He's looked very solid. We're still waiting for uh, Kaptari to come back in 
to the competition, but Karapetian with a miss at 186. Well, these lifters, see if Victor gets in pitching now, just shaking the legs out, doesn't want to sit down, doesn't want to give the legs a chance to switch off, trying to stay focused, trying to keep the adrenaline flowing, keep the blood flowing, ready for when he's called. Karapetian here. Under pressure, missed his first. Not very long to recover. Following himself, so two minutes. He's got 30 seconds of that remaining. Clean is good again. Needs to stand still. Done it, gets the lead. So, good response from Karapetien. And uh, I tell you what, he's getting some really excellent experience here in this one. Well, yes, he is, but he's under pressure. 186, you probably look at that and think maybe 190 on a final attempt. But that won't be good enough for the gold on the clean and jerk. 192 from the B group is still there to be beaten. And we still have one, two, three, four other lifters, four other lifters left in the competition. So it's going to be a fight to the end here. And with Kaptari having gone for a 190 on a second, a 10 kilo increase. If he can execute that, it does bring him right back up into the running. And here he is. Yeah, right on cue. Has looked really tidy with his lifting today. We spoke about maybe having just that little bit extra in the tank that he didn't utilise through the snatch phase. But tactically, each of these lifters will have a particular game plan. And his game plan was obviously this. Post the numbers and leave himself with two lifts to do damage in the clean and jerk. When he comes onto the platform, very quiet, very calm. Fires when, it need, when he needs to. The Moldovan athlete, 190, no. Oh, dear. Well, clearly a problem, I would say, around the lower back with yeah, that reaction. It looked to be. Not even close to getting that one clear from the stage. Yeah, he's definitely in pain somewhere. I don't think that was just a deadlift and chipping out of the weight. I think that was uh, more of an injury problem. Well, that's a shame, a real shame. Well, it was a gamble, but it's not paid off. So that's the first uh, bit of fragile lifting that we've seen from Captari. Let's hope that he's OK. Fail at 190. That brings Alexander Rossu back to the stage. Missed at 184, then successful at 184. So 190 will be his last attempt to try and get in amongst it. Well, I think he'll clean it. He'll probably jerk it as well, but will, will it be passed by the referees? Some dodgy elbows going on today. Works a bit harder. No, it's not gonna happen. Well, real frustration, real disappointment for the 27-year-old Ross who exits the competition. 153 and 184 for his two lifts bring him 337. So uh, just a kilo heavier than the B group combined total of Lick Harad. And uh, unfortunately for Rossu, he's out of it. It's going to be Kaptari onto the stage for his last go. At 190 next. But Rossu is out. So Captari up to the stage, 190. That's a 10 kilo increase from his first lift. He's looked really comfortable and really smooth up to this point. Then his first attempt at 190 dropped the bar almost as soon as he pulled it away from the stage. Clearly in pain, clearly injured, but gets it. No, doesn't get it this time. And that's, that's his problem. You suspect that as, as long as he could have got it up onto the, uh, the front of the shoulders, he was probably going to be OK. But it was getting it up to that phase with the injury that he's got. It's a shame. It was a gutsy effort to come back and have a go. So yeah. Kaptari's out. Uh, 152, 180 for him for 332. So another athlete that uh, Lekalad has seen off from the B group and Bayramov has seen off. And remember, Bayramov at 192 is yet to be surpassed from the clean and jerk B group phase. Victor gets then. 191. 
Oh, well, he looks so good today. Yes, he has. And I think uh, Marta Rossian is trying to put the pressure on Getz. Remember, Getz, Marta Rossian both snatched 160, separated only by body weight. Marta Rossian was the lighter lifter. Coming into the clean and jerk, Getz now is on 191. Martirosian only needs to equal whatever Getz does. So I think we're going to see Martirosian also coming out on 191 and going back into the lead with body weight if successful. But doesn't Getz look good? It's, it's so much more there. Absolutely superb and uh, relatively conservative performance in terms of his weight increases, but clearly knows exactly what he's doing. And in terms of the bigger picture, looking very good for a podium. So Getz uh, 160. 191. Marty Rossian. Desperately needs this. And if he gets it, then the doors open for a third European title. Well, that was better. Squat jerk or power jerk? Power again, he's got it. Uh, it's more like it. Well, he came out fired up for that attempt. The first one, not so convincing. The second one, he means business. What's he got left in the tank? One attempt remaining. Can he keep the young Russian at bay? It's neck and neck, only split on body weight at the moment. 191. We have three lifters remaining in the competition, each with one attempt left. And remember, the lifter from the B group, Beiramov, Still in the lead with 192 on the clean and jerk. He's out of the medals on the overall total, but he's still trying to be cheeky and pinch a medal here. The strut is back for Marty Rossian. And a little bit of pressure now on the 19-year-old who's looked so calm. Looks like he's really enjoying his competition. He's already bagged a gold medal in the snatch. Well, this is a risky lift. This will well, take yeah. the gold away from... The B group lifter on the clean and jerk, but he, I don't think he needed this amount of weight to secure victory on the podium for the overall. If he misses this, it does throw his teammate Marta Rossian and Victor Getz in with a chance of taking the lead overall. So this is such an important lift. This will be gold on the jerk and almost definitely a, a gold overall. 193 then. Can move up at significant levels at seven kilos smooth through the first phase no can't get it above his head and the teenager unfortunately missing out well Beramov from the b group takes a medal on the clean and jerk that much we know question is which color still in the lead two attempts remaining from two different lifters he's guaranteed a medal that's great work from uh, Beramov. Just going through the figures for you here. Karapetian with that failure at 193 means 164, 186 for 350. That was, that was a, a foolish move, I think, by the Armenians. He's only in third place on the podium. He's allowed the Russian to go ahead. It's now a fight between Martirosian and Victor Getz head to head. Who will it be? Who will take the overall podium? Uh, this is what we like to see. Shootout time. Gets steps onto the podium, steps onto the stage. He's going to be the man to set off the first salvo. One, nine, seven. So that's a pretty big increase as well from Getz. He needs this for gold. No, oh, no, I'm no, not no, no, I don't think gonna he's going to get that. I think there's massive press out on his left elbow. He held it, but I don't think he's going to be giving it. Long, long look there at the judges. And we will wait to see confirmation. It's not there. Only one white light. Two reds means it's not a legal lift. And Marty Rossian, for the third time, claims a European weightlifting title. He's done it once at, one, at 60 and now he's done it at 77 and uh, probably not coming out again I, I would wouldn't suspect have thought so. he has not looked comfortable all day <laughs> I don't think he's going to take another lift if he doesn't have to well there's no record to go for he's way off that oh, real shame here Victor Getz works so hard to stand this is 197 two kilos above a weight he's ever lifted before 
gave it a really good effort. We can just see a definite press out in the left arm. It was a correct decision to fail the lift. Really unlucky. What a shame. Well, First mistake well, of the day. Yeah. And you know what? The gold medal on the clean and jerk goes to Bayramov from Azerbaijan, who unfortunately we didn't even see. He competed earlier today in the B group. Brilliant. Well, we love it when we get a story like that. Baramov will be delighted. He, he will have surely watched the competition because he knew that the weight he posted today was a good one in clean and jerk. Marty Rossian is not going to come out again. Uh, gets just being consoled by the coaches. Oh, yeah, and there we go, just explaining exactly what the problem was with that press out on his right arm. But it's all smiles because it's a hat-trick of European Championships. Well, Tigran Marti Rossian, a well-known name within world lifting, but he's a hero for Armenia. But confirmation of that gold medal, Afghan Beramov of Azerbaijan takes it from the B group. Marti Rossian gets a silver and Victor gets a bronze. But in terms of the overall medals, that 3-5-1 uh, total for Marti Rossian is uh, good enough on body weight to claim the overall gold medal here in the 77 kilo category and uh, we had a, a little bit of everything there Michaela well that was exciting right to the end not the result I anticipated I do think Karapetian uh, needs to go back and have a chat with his coaches and work out on reflection what happened because some bad calls there there's the confirmation then of how the medals uh, have gone in this men's 77 kilos Marty Rossian takes gold just ahead of Victor Getz on body weight he takes silver and uh, Andranik Karapetian, the youngster, the 19-year-old, takes uh, bronze. But uh, keep an eye on him and Getz for the future. But it's Marty Rassian who makes it three European titles.